We are back with Toys Descent into Darkness. <laughs> Yay, I'm Darkness. Excited. I'm excited about this. Um, so we have just made the plan, figured out the plan to save Nahuatli and make her the god of death. Thing is, that's not what Toidi's patron wants to have him. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> maybe we, some things. Maybe oh, well, actually, would I need to establish that with Zama, oh, with Balam, or would he already can? Would, would Toidi I mean, already kind of know? Yeah, I mean, if all if all you're gonna, yeah, you would. I assume you would have known that that's not because because he said like maybe not him particularly, but like just the 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 old masters of Shabalba, they need to be put back to the rightful place because they know what's best. You know, okay, yeah, and Nahuatli is certainly not a member of the old court of Shibulba, so uh, actually, they were the, the enemies, um, literally the direct enemies of the old court of Shibulba because it was the whole thing with the fire, the fire mask being given to uh, the, the mother of the race to fend off the darkness, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Fend off the jaguars. You don't know that particularly <laughs> because nope, you were not. Cause... Privy to Raya, that primordial vision, yeah. Raya has failed to inform us on a lot of <laughs> anything. Almost. We just found out. She, I think it was we literally just found out she can like go in the orb. Yep, yep, pretty much. <laughs> she was a little high during that meeting and uh, may have given away some things. Yep, yep, yep. Good old Raya and her drugs. But yeah, what, what do you want to do? Just a couple of things. So I think um, at, at this point, like people had broken off into their own separate groups, right? If I remember right. Yeah. So Raya went with Keezing to get, do the ritual to unlock her own talent. Um, mm-hmm. Darius was going to go with Ka'awi to basically figure out um, what his uh, magic items can be uh, um, improved to do, um, can be upgraded uh, to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ari was gonna touch base with Akna, the uh, the ranger lady, the part giant, part Tlacanoli lady. Um, and uh, that leaves you, my friend, who didn't have anywhere particular to go. But um, oh, I did, just not publicly. Just not publicly, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I think um, at, if, when everyone starts breaking off, Ken, mm-hmm. Tony just kind of turns to his head and says, "Um, so um, Balam, I'm." T- I'm taking it you don't quite want this. What's her face? Nahuatli. I'm taking it you don't want this Nahuatli to be the one that takes over the as god of death. No, that would be contrary to our plans. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So he's gonna. I'm he's sure gonna she's sc- a nice girl. Yes, yes, I'm sure of that as well. So he's going to look around, and what does he see Balam doing? Is Balam, like, just, did he walk off to her, or what they do? Um, ba- Balam is the... Oh, sorry, sorry, stone. sorry, the, the, the... What's his <laughs> I was name? Like, he's, your stone just walks away, I guess? I don't know. What's his name? Z- was it Zam- Zaman? Or... Zaman. Zaman, was yeah, he the, the one I'm... The Oracle? No, 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 the one I need to talk to. Chalmer. Chalmer, Chalmer. So, uh, yeah, he probably is walking away. Yeah, he doesn't want to give any indication that he's like wants to hang out with you necessarily. I, I'll probably, I'll probably wait until people start to wander off, and I'll kind of afterwards follow in the direction of where he went. Sure, sure. Um, I think he uh, found his way down into the caverns again. Um, I should probably open roll twenty. Props. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a roll involved here somewhere. If you, Actually, if you want to get XP, there needs to be a roll involved here somewhere. Come to think of it, I need to open Orc Pub because I still haven't transferred yeah, over yeah. Hoity. I'm going to be doing that tonight. My character list. Ah, it makes me log in. Um, I should. I literally just got home, so. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so Hoity confirms the bottom doesn't want Nahuatli to I'm just writing this down be the god of death she seems like a nice girl but unfortunately she doesn't know the first thing about ruling ruling death so wait am I even oh is this even still correct what part? 
Wait, one, two, three. Okay, no, I'm still level nine, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Okay, because I was like, uh, it's part of it still because y'all didn't didn't level up until the very end of yeah um that so so I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and follow him into the caverns. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think he probably ends up in the same place um that he tends to. Well, actually, maybe he doesn't. Oh, okay. I know what he does. Um, so, uh, Twitty, if you, so I, I forgot to click launch. Game. No, you're, you're totally fine. <laughs> I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna bring you to a different part of the map here. So I think what happens is you see Chalmer waiting for you right in front of this wall. I see here. nothing. Can you see something now? Zoom out. Nope, it's just black void. What is There wrong we go. With... There okay, we go. Thank now you. I was like, <laughs> this stupid dy dynamic lighting never seems to work right. Uh, I can only find it now. But yeah, he seems to be waiting for you. He's he's standing right here. Um, and I, I don't see him. I see me, but... Oh, you just see oh, you? There we go. Oh, there, I see him now. Oh, he's just loading? Now. Okay, yeah. Got it. So yeah, you see him there. He's standing in front of the wall. I mean, it just looks like a nondescript part of the corridor. Yeah. He waits for you to approach him. So look to him and say, Chalmer? Like, just like acknowledging, like saying hello sort of way. Mm -hmm. Toidy, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, So I, I take it the whole plan with uh, Nahuatli. That's not exactly what we're going for here is it no not exactly um i have something i need to show you toity maybe you can help me with a little problem i've been having okay yeah and he he just walks through the wall <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah but to, 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 like then take it by surprise for a second you're yeah. just like you know what this isn't that big of a surprise now i think about it and i walk through the wall yeah yeah so it's just an illusory wall you I can can't. Just, I physically. Yeah, I know. Oh, there you go. You can just walk through it, right? Right at oh, this point, there's like a. I accidentally dragged myself out. I think. You're totally fine. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, you're fine. Um, yeah. So you're right there. Um, and he he says, uh, "There are a couple of these here. They're for holding various things we want to keep out of the main part of the caverns. But uh, this is uh, in particular is the prison. This way, and he just starts walking down the corridor." Yeah, and so he brings you over here, and he says, watch out for the clay golem. Don't do anything to hurt it. Clay golem? I don't see a clay golem. You'll see it if you keep walking forward. <laughs> is it? Is it? The, oh, that it's, one. Okay, no, it, I wasn't scrolled down far enough. Yeah, it's down in the, down there. So it's just kind of like sitting there inanimate off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, Chalmer seems to have access, right? Like if he's here, then it's not going to attack things. Um, but yeah, you see a bunch of Yuan T in cages. Um, here in here in the back. Um, and they all look half starved and in a bad shape. And uh, Chalmer walks up to one of them and kind of like flicks the cage absentmindedly, and uh, the Yuan T like hisses at him and like, you know, just does not have a good. They don't like each other. Um. Chalmer turns back to you and says, These are my, um, well, my friends of late. I've been trying to get some information out of them. We're attempting to break them, as it were. Find an opening in the court of Erendira. Basically, we need a spy. We need someone to go there and be our ears and eyes unfortunately we've been having some difficulty either breaking these ones or finding any information on someone in the court who may be less than loyal to Erendira 
Do you have anything that could help me here? And he just kind of turns to you and smiles, a cracked lip smile. Knowing <laughs> already, like you can tell that he knows what you have. Uh, here's the problem. Mm-hmm. I don't. You don't? I don't have tongues anymore. That's a third level spell. I don't have third level spell slots. Oh, well, he, he can handle that part of it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, he has magic. Uh, okay. Is he talking about the serpent's glory? Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about the serpent's glory. Uh, I was like, um, uh, 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 well, uh, I'll probably say like, well, I, I can't exactly talk to them. Balam has kind of made that a bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and I think I think he says uh, they speak primordial. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, oh, okay then. <laughs> so if, if there's a um, and if if that's the case, I'll just kind of grab my the rod and like. Is this kind of what you were thinking? Yes. Unfortunately, my brethren have an aversion to it, but I've never found use in uh, discarding a useful tool. What was the, the name of the person we're trying to infiltrate again? Um, Erendira, the Radiant Unmaker, her palace. By in the court of Erendira. Spelled like this. Oops. Had my speakers on for some reason. Uh, let me make sure. There we go. Okay. Um, Aaron Dira. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm, I'll just look through like, it doesn't last that long. I'm not sure... We just need information. We need to know someone who we can contact. A, a disloyal member of Erendira's faction. Someone who could be bought. Uh, so, but here, here's here's my question, though. Because uh, it does say if it har- uh, or command to do something contrary to its nature, target ceases to be See, charmed. the thing is, the um, thing about you on T is that... Mm-hmm. That's basically all their nature is, is ambition and that, backstabbing. That is true. That is <laughs> so, true. I have thought about yep, that. As, um, as long as you give them a reason why well, they could be up, you know, take, have a, le- a leg up in the world. Um, so, okay. The Toys is going to take it. We never really established how he does this. Um, I think it like glows like Jafar's staff. I think that's, that's what, what I decided. was thinking. Yeah. So right. I think I just kind of take it and I just kind eyes. of pound it on the ground. It like, like it, it starts to glow and I try to do that. And now they have to make a DC 15 wisdom save. So who is it? Is it just one person or all of any? them? If I want all of them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's... It says from each creature of your choice that you can see within 120 feet of you. So That's technically I can have it be him too, but I'm not going to do that. Oh I'm... man, that would be interesting. <laughs> Uh, given how the spell works, he wouldn't even notice, right? Like, he wouldn't know that he had you had done it to him until it was too late. He might. Well, he would. He noticed that he I, he had to make a check or something like that. Uh, and not if he if he fa- if he succeeded on the save, then he would yeah. know that you tried to do That's it to him. That's the problem. Yeah, That's exactly. The problem. That would be funny. You could probably play it off. You should try it. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so let me make some rolls here. Three different type of U on T. So wisdom? Uh, yes, DC 15. Okay. Okay, that one in front of you, the, the female one in front of you saves. Um, they failed. The, yeah, the, the black-skinned ones in the, in the back fail. And then... They also fail. Okay, so it's just the female one succeeds. So she, she just continues to spit make, and hiss. That, that makes sense. Women never listen to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. This is why this is a one shot. <laughs> ah, sorry. Just, no, I, it's I, funny. I, so, yeah, what do you, what do you want to say? So I'll kind of notice. I'll see that she doesn't listen. Like, whatever. Or like, four out of five. Like, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not. Say, We're looking for someone who would be willing to tell us a little bit about the court of Erendira. 
Yeah, one of these guys in the back here says, um, and what are you willing to offer us? Uh, give me a second. I turn to, I turn to Chalmer and say, wait. I was just sort of like, yeah, yeah, like, what do you have? Yeah. Um, I think Chalmer says, you're all hungry, aren't you? I am aware of the way that uh, you want to ascend. Not ascend. He probably wouldn't use the same word uh, as like ascending to godhood. He uh, maybe he would. I don't know. I don't know what word they'd use for this. Um, I know the way that you want to grow more powerful, and I can offer you some food that I think will not only fill your bellies but increase your strength as well and then if you want to you can make a persuasion check with advantage um, is this gonna be oh I th uh, well i'll roll both just in case Ah, oh, they're both 23s. <laughs> nice. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I think they start clamoring over each other to, like, give you information. And so they, like, are... Because I think, like, their eyes widen. And, uh, I mean, it's really hard to tell, honestly, on UNT what they're feeling. Uh, I'm thinking because they're snakes. Um, but, uh, yeah, they start, like, speaking over each other, trying to give you information. Um and uh seem very eager because they are you can tell i mean not only are they literally like half starved um but i mean apparently uh the offer of uh interesting food of like food that they can use to become better uh is an interesting and enticing offer especially coming from someone now that you view as their trusted leader mm -hmm. um so yeah they're what basically what do you ask them right like i i, I don't know what one at a time one at a time yeah so I'll go like you first and I point to the, the guy on the left first. To the left. Yeah, 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 sure. Um, so I, I'll probably say like, yeah. like one at a time, one at a time. I imagine we have food for all four of you. Uh -huh, yeah. Um, I so, turn to Trump relax. And like, Hopefully we do. Yeah, yeah. He smiles. Um, so the, the one on the left says, uh, I know someone in Aaron Deere's court that can do exactly what you're wanting us to do uh i'm sorry that i didn't see the opportunity for advancement earlier i was foolishly tied to uh, vestigial loyalties to erendira i i see my mistake now and then he basically gives you a name uh the name has no significance to you but chalmer <laughs> seems to like raise an eyebrow and say ah interesting so he knows someone actually in the court yeah yeah so basically like yeah this guy is and I'll, I'll come up with a name and personality and stuff uh for for next time but um this this dude or or female whoever it is um uh apparently has been is is pretty close to erendira in terms of uh i think this person is the food like the the whatever the equivalent of the royal cook is but okay. like it has a different significance for yuan t because especially for erendira um and the other seven serpents they use their food to advance um and so this person's job basically right is to find the best and most powerful morsels that can make erendira get even stronger um it turns out though that he wants to to he's been sneaking some table scraps as it were and trying mm. to advance himself um so you now know the name of that person. Okay. Um, so I'll say, interesting. Now I'll turn to the next one. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I think the other one says also says, like, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'll turn to the, the – the, let's keep going down the line. Yeah, yeah. So you're just trying to well, – so what, what, what kind of information do you want them to give you? Just like we, like we said, like, do they know any – do you any know anything others? better? Do you know, like – Pretty much that. Um, like, yeah, make a make a luck luck save for me. It's really deep, funny. I was about to say make a love save. <laughs> make a love save. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. 
So I think they give you – actually, I think they give you some really good information. They give you, like, a secret tunnel that apparently – uh, can be used tunnel. yeah yeah right like they give you like the the secret passage that you can you know make your way into erendira's um chambers um and this you know, it seems like they're telling the truth right like i don't think it doesn't seem like they're lying about this um but uh it seems to be like a long unused chamber that this person just stumbled across randomly um and uh has kept it secret you know for for a, a, the right moment to use it to get to advance but um yeah it, like this this has been a good day for figuring out some some good stuff to use for the plan um for sure i'm gonna i'm gonna turn to Chalmers. you're gonna be the one that has to bring that up <laughs> oh don't worry i i won't have to speak of your involvement here i do appreciate it though and so that's all the that's all the information i can get we we get from the more or less yeah the other ones have information to give you but like chalmers like nope that's not true like that's bogus information <laughs> some of them just try to give you things that aren't like either aren't true or like they think are more important than they are but chalmers just like no nope, that's not gonna be helpful to us so it seems like chalmer knows a lot more about like what would be useful and not so okay okay <clears throat> so i'll say like well um i'll turn to chalmer like i think that's about as much information as I think we are going to get from yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he nods and he says, all right, very well. Well, for anyone who cooperated, uh, there will be some uh, fine feasting tonight. And the, the, the female just starts, keeps hissing and spitting and, and just saying like, Aaron Deere will kill you for this. I just turned to Tom and like, what exactly are you going to be feeding them? And I think he starts like leading you away. Um, and and he he basically says, oh, uh, this types of things that they would eat, uh, I don't know anything with magical capabilities. Uh, I've I've known some of the seven serpents to be um, to eat oozes or dragons if they find them, those sorts of things. Um, but what are you feeding them? And then like he's led you like all like halfway down like back to the corridor, and then he just whispers. Oh, I'm definitely just going to kill them all. Troy's like, oh. And then he smiles, a cracked lip smile, and he just says, I'm just kidding. Do you want me to roll an insight check? I would love to roll an insight check. <laughs> yeah. Um, so <laughs> crit bail! Uh, yep. Crit bail! So the camera can definitely tell that uh, Chamber is absolutely going to kill all of them and not give them anything. Um, but Toity doesn't think so. Toity thinks that he was just making a joke and uh, he's going to give them all food and it's going to be fine. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dang it! Yep. <laughs> Because Toyota would have, Toyota would have said, like, no, keep them. We could still use them for information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dang it. <laughs> See, the thing is, right? Like, Toyota is going to get so far into this, uh, too far into this before he realizes that, like, there's been a bunch of bad things happening behind the scene that he isn't been yeah. to. You know what? The good thing is, now that we've had that one shot, if Toity dies, at least um, Adeline is yeah, there. Yeah, you can, you can play Adeline. Adeline. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. He's going to follow him out. I'm mm -hmm. guessing that's what the clay golem's going to do. For, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't think I don't think Chamber's going to kill them yet because he wants to make sure that you're gone first and, like, won't mm -hmm. ask about them again sort of a thing. <laughs> Just in case, because he sees the look on your because that's the thing. He said it, right? And then he saw the look on your face, and he's just like, Oh, I'm gonna play this off as a joke and then absolutely do it later. <laughs> so uh, yep. Okay. Well, totally yeah, totally I'll just follow him out. Yep, yep. Thank you so very much for your help. I do appreciate it. Well, anything to help out my patron, I guess. Yes. We all have to we all have an obligation to those that help us and serve us. We serve them in response. It's the way of the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, 
I think the only other thing Tori would do at this mm-hmm. point is um try and I think I tried to I don't remember all that I've unlocked. I'd have to check through my notes, but I think I'll try to unlock magic missile again because okay. I know I I know that failed last time. Yeah, didn't you like shoot it into the void sphere? Yeah, thing? yeah. I know we saw things <laughs> that were scary. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, where, where I, are you going to practice this this time? Well, I'll just I'll is Chalmer was Ch- where's where's Chalmer go off to? Is like, uh, he, he like did he just, like excuse himself? Yeah, he just excuses himself. He has something else, else to do. So I think Tori will just spend this time. I'll just he'll just probably like leave the. I can't actually leave the area. You're trapped here. Sorry. Ah! The clay golem comes and kills you too. No, no he'll just he'll just like walk over to you know what he might he might just walk back over near the the void the void yeah yeah just because i mean it's it it's it's fascinating to him oh yeah i mean yeah every time you look at it you just want to walk into it i know not to now (laughs) you know not to but doesn't stop you from wanting it (laughs) he'll just he'll just try and cast magic missile into it again okay yeah because it's the only so uh what have we been doing sight i think right like you're trying to do a cycle analyze yourself and figure yeah. out what emotion you can channel to do this yeah what what emotion is it all just like rage for you or at this or point what? i think he is thinking like he's realizing it's more rage based so he's like sit there kind of like mad at himself for not if, if only he was mad at himself for like knowing that he was actually going to kill him mm-hmm. um i mean the obvious thing you can still be mad about is that keat lolly hates you that is true, right? I think he's gonna take like, so he, mm. yeah. She doesn't, doesn't know. I I tried to save her. He's just gonna sit there, kind of like let that boil up inside of him, kind of just feel as it boils. He's just gonna yeah. try and like let that rage just gah, out sure through thing. his arm and try and cast magic. Yeah, roll that insight check. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I think Toity. I think we're gonna say that you figured the stuff out, like all the stuff. all of it. Yeah. Yay! I think I think so because you've been working at it enough, and like the thing is, like a lot of this was just a transitionary period between like switching over your levels. Um, but mm-hmm. you've switched over most of your levels at this point, so I think, I think there comes a moment where you're staring into this void, um, and you shoot some magic missiles at it, right? Or, or you you try to at least, yeah. right? And and maybe some random little p- particles of energy just kind of like you know, fizzle out into it and stuff, um, but. I think what happens is you you're suddenly in, you're you're entranced by this. You keep trying this over and over again. You're here for a while and you haven't really realized the passage of time. But then you have a moment where you're suddenly just in front like right in front of it and you didn't realize that you had like stepped in stepped closer and and you're like about to touch it and then you like take your hand away. You're like, "Oh, okay, I can't do that." Like, "Oh, oh I need to take okay, take, take get a hold of yourself, Toidy." Um, but then some of the sphere starts to like kind of bubble out almost as it's little tendrils reaching for you. And then suddenly they just kind of like distend themselves from, from the, the sphere and become little, like almost like, uh, like water floating in void of space, Mm -hmm. like little droplets that are just kind of floating without gravity. And they kind of come towards you and they start like spinning around your hand and then, you get like a surge of, again, like the 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 picture of Sit Lo- of Kate Lolly, um, like you know, being a complete jerk face to you comes back to your mind, and you just like look, you know, your eyes narrow, and you just like, you know, reach out to to the to the sphere again, and then just the little like beads coalesce into like these like dark like missiles, right, and they just like sink into the to the sphere, and it seems to like push push back, be pushed back by the the missiles, um. And then, um, you realize that you've just shoved your hand into it, and like you, like you didn't, you didn't even realize that happened. You, you, you pushed your hand out to like shoot, and then you, you reached your hand a little bit too far, and your hand is like now in it, and like little black veins start to like go up your arms. What do you do? Uh-oh. Pull it out as quick as I yeah, can. Yeah, pull it out, and then the black veins like s- s- keep like kind of going up your arm but like they don't they don't it basically it fades from the first part of your arm and then like goes down the the second part um so it's like a a, a limited amount of it but it's like crawling up your arm yeah what are you gonna do i'm like i'm like well what the frick is happening (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) well what did i do yeah yeah and and so um balam says 
oh, I think you're ready now. And that's when so much pain happens. So, so, so much pain. More pain than you've ever felt in your entire life. You're just catatonic in pain. Make a con save for me. I was going to say, oh, wait, no, I probably couldn't do that. I probably, I was going to say, I want to try and cast silence first before the pain takes me over so I can mm, scream without mm, it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Constitution if you, if you cast a con, if you make a con save, you can cast it before. Yeah. I feel like I need inspiration okay. on this. Yeah. <laughs> cause, cause there's no way, there's no way this happens and I fail and they don't find out. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, I mean, so what? someone's going to hear this. Yeah. What, what's this, what's something I could say about Tony? I don't know, Tony. I don't know. Um, now, I already told the story about when I found out when his mother passed away. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe that's the only thing I, that's the only thing I can think of. I can think uh, this is what this is what this is kind of what this is probably what would go through Toy's mind. He because he knows he's in pain. He wants to scream out in agony, but he knows one very well that he knows that if he does that, he might get found out. Mm -hmm. And he knows if he does that, they might kill him mm -hmm. and he knows if he does that he can't make sure his mother mother's grave stays untouched yes. and he wants more than anything because i mean he loved his mom but his mom is the only person in the world he loved mm -hmm. the only person in the world he felt loved him mm -hmm. and he wants nothing more the whole reason he's doing this he wants to make sure he can the whole reason he wanted to scry on his mother's yeah. grave make sure it was still intact because mm -hmm. he, he, he just is so scared he's going to essentially have his mother's great. His mother's dead bodies is just going to get desecrated. Yeah. Yeah. Know. Okay. Yeah. Take inspiration and then use it. <gasps> it's a good thing you did. Three, three or a 20. 20. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you managed to like bear the pain just long enough to cast silence on yourself. And then we just this see you fall on my, I fall on my yeah. knees and you hear nothing, but you just yeah horrible screaming and like right this, this blackness starts to seep into all of your veins and it starts like you're, you're screaming and the veins are popping out on your like forehead and your neck right but they're all they're, they're like black um and finally it subsides after like you know uh, like 30 seconds of this just like horrible horrible pain and then you just like slump and then you hear in your mind you hear balam say i'm sorry about that it's like that for all of them <laughs> I'm probably oh i don't know tony tony wants to kind of think to stuff like i'm not when he says i'm sorry for that it's like i'm not so sure you are <laughs> yeah yeah is that yeah. he's gonna think goes back to him, like is that the worst of it <laughs> there's no answer <laughs> i don't think there's an answer to that question uh, oh, he just kind of like puts his head down and goes yeah, but then you realize, Toad, you have, like, this, this as you're, like, kind of, you, the pain is starting to fade, you you realize that your mind has been opened. Like, you, you, your your mind has been awakened to all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, and All yeah. the possibilities you have so far? Yes, all the possibilities you have so far. I mean, okay. you, can, you can complete the switch if you wanted to. If you want to, feel free, man. Like, go ahead. But <laughs> If there was a point for it to happen, it would be now. That's yeah, the yeah, do it, man. Tordy's not a bard anymore. Tordy's not a bard anymore. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're gonna flip. They're gonna flip so hard. Should I? Oh, I'm part of me wondering if I should leave any of it or if I should just go completely. I feel like you should have one level of bard. I feel like that's a good idea. Or at least structure in such a way that you still have like the right proficiencies and and like try to find a way to save some of those like really well, important none things. of my proficiency none of my proficiencies or anything are going to change I know, maybe like, I'll, maybe some of them will but like i know some of them are from your background though too that's yeah true. i'll i'll look into it but i'll i'll if anything <laughs> i'll leave well what's one level even do in bard let's see if it's even worth keeping right um i have a bardic inspiration two cantrips, and two first-level spells. A single, two bardic inspiration die. Was it two? That sounds right. Maybe. Maybe it might be a little bit worth it, and it'll keep me 
in the clear for a little bit. Oh, it's charisma modifier, so base. So yeah, I'll still have three bardic inspiration. I they'll just be d6s. I mean, as soon as one of them asks me to roll bardic for bardic inspiration die, they're gonna know something's up. But yeah, okay, that should be good. I'll have to work on that tonight because uh, I mm -hmm. I don't have that ready. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting this. I, I wasn't either. That's that's the way role playing games work. I mean, I didn't expect you to keep standing in front of the <laughs> the black sphere of annihilation. Why not? I mean, obviously, for something like this to happen, duh. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I my Tony's thought honestly is probably like, if I shoot it anywhere else, people are gonna be like, hey, why is there just rocks randomly <laughs> blown up right here? It yeah. looks like it was magic. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get all toity. Uh, I'm not sure about good. <laughs> he might actually be changing his alignment. More like true neutral. Uh -huh. That's fair. Or chaotic good. I'm not sure. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool stuff. This has been Toity's Descent into Darkness. Yeah, the continuation ahead. of I mean, there's a lot of darkness this episode. Literally. I totally kind of for, honestly you. forgot about um the fact that they had those prisoners in the cage here until <laughs> I just like saw this map again. I was like, oh, oh no, perfect. Yeah, Chalmer will ask you to help him with this. That makes sense because that, they've been doing that in the background anyway. So, you know, good stuff. I'm about it. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That has been Toadies Descent into Darkness on Terranolius. I can't yeah, wait yeah. until we can release all these videos and people can see the horrible things that Toadie has done. <laughs> Or been a part of. <laughs> he doesn't know they're horrible. He doesn't know yet. He will. He will. He will. All right. That's it. Bye.